Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in today's video I'll be reviewing a very interesting gadget right here. So for a hint, it's a laptop. Obvious. So all I wanna say is that I'm sorry I haven't uploaded for a while and many people or many viewers might be disappointed for that. And thank you for actually commenting in my videos like every single time. But uh, I want uh, help from you guys. So what the help is, is that I'm having a trouble trying to figure out the correct topic for my YouTube channel. So if you guys can help me, just comment down below like anything like uh, tech reviews or tech tutorials or anything at all. So today, I will be checking out a laptop. It's from HP and it's the HP NV. As you can see, HP NV360, I think. Yes. So, this monster or this piece of a monster is absolutely good and right when i open the like the package for this box and i see this box and i'm like yeah i don't need the laptop i just need the box so that's enough for me so this is actually uh not my laptop but then still we'll be doing this unboxing experience for the education for you guys and so that you can also buy it it's a very great budget and non-budget laptop for those who are looking. There are many other brands. For, I mean, not many other brands. I'm sorry, I was supposed to say that. Many other versions for this laptop. So, let us open this. I don't want to make this very late. So, we have the box right here. So there's a handle right here in case you're wondering. There's a way to carry the box. Oh my god. As soon as I open the box, all I see is white. As you can see, there's like nothing inside. Only the valuable piece of the laptop which looks absolutely beautiful. And in the side, we have the most favorite part about this it's like i would just buy the laptop just for this the charger looks like a damn power bank like you know the adapter the charger goes on it's like it's like almost made up of glass it's my favorite part sorry for doing that it's just i just like it so much i didn't want to try that much you guys probably care it was boring but then it's kind of interesting, but <clears throat> as you can see, this is how it's going to be like. Make sure you have an, uh, you say a junction for this cable. So it's like this. Have a good look at it before you plug it in something, and then be like, oh my god, I don't have a port for this. Help me! So if you want help with that, ask me the right guy. So anyway, let's get to the laptop itself. So, let us go with the specs. So this laptop is actually uh, i7, 11th gen, and it has 8 GB RAM, plus it has a 512 GB SSD. So, it's like absolutely beautiful looking at the visualizations. There's like a very long vent here. Two gaps here for the fans. But uh, it's like one of the fans are sealed, but then it does work. So I'll just say that. And the next thing about this laptop is that its gigahertz is 2.90. That's like 90% bigger than my own laptop. So let us rip the... I want you guys to focus on this part of this video. So we take it out, we put it right here. And me looking at this, it's like, see, uh, you know uh, the size of an iPad? 
so it's like 13.3 inches it's like a bit more longer than an ipad but then it's like it's like the size of my mom's computer and my mom's computer is a little thick pad if you want to know so i'm just gonna keep it here so you guys can see oops I dropped it in i can't take it out help me okay, so here Put this back in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna keep this. this up. I honestly don't know if this thing has charge or not. Jesus Christ! I'm amazed. And. can but then still this is amazing let me see if I can turn this on Let's turn it on so the uh, what I see from my perspective is that the keyboard the little keys are very big for the size of the keyboard like space I just think it's super big like every single alphabet like alphabet is very 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 big I think it should be very small. As you can think, we have a thumbprint scanner and the arrow keys is on the top right. We have the FN key right here, the number pads on the top. We don't even have a number pad right here actually. So this one needs FN and it's Windows 11 as you can see. We have the setup screen and I'm gonna show you how to set up Windows 11 in a next video. I want guys to tell you a little bit story before I cut this scene. Is that when uh, when I went to ease of access, I uh, went and then it's like, are you blind? Are you deaf? Are you dumb? That's what uh, that's what Windows asked like literally when I went to ease of access in control panel. So it's just like a such story, but I still want to explain about the laptop. It has a thumbprint scanner. It has a thumbprint scanner. And we have like very gigantic keys. I don't think so. These we don't we need these gigantic keys. Like, like I think it should be a bit more smaller, according to my suggestion. Because this is a laptop, and it can also be uh like folded as a tablet. As you can see it's here in Intel Evo and HP Envy 360. It's written right here. Get a close up on this book. Thank you guys for watching my video and I hope you like it and I very appreciate you checking out my channel. Well, right now we're at very less subscribers and I will really appreciate you if you subscribe. But I would really, really appreciate you if you like and I would love you to click on that bell and watch my videos, please. My videos are the best and if you think they are the best, so watch them. I'm giving you freedom, but I would really appreciate if you could sub, sub, uh, sub, subscribe. And thank you for watching my video. And that's goodbye for me. But I'm also gonna apologize for not showing like the really the insights of the laptop. I can really access it. But then, surely I'm. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching and goodbye.